Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Okay, everybody, say goodbye. Everybody who's watching the live video feed, say goodbye. Everybody who's watching this video right now on YouTube, say goodbye. My girlfriend's leaving the room. Bye. bye. Not for any related reason to this video, but bye. Oh, what are we saying goodbye to? Well, not the video, but to the 100 watt incandescent light bulb. It's going away. Gone. Bye bye. Dead. I mean, you may have one. It may still work, certainly. Uh, but uh, there are far more energy efficient options available. Uh, just this past year, I've slowly but surely, uh, and not in relation to the Locker Gnome article that I'm referring to right now, uh, I've gone through and replaced certain bulbs throughout my home, uh, the incandescent bulbs, uh, with LEDs or uh, CFLs. I'd rather go with an LED because it, you know, it'll last longer. They're expensive. There's no real cost benefit uh, be uh, between uh, certain LEDs and other bulbs. Uh, but uh, the lights in this room right now, what's illuminating my face, I've got six of them, well actually one, two, three, four, really four of them pointed directly at me, LEDs. So even though I'm warm right now because the heater's going and I got all these computers running and everything, uh, I, I, it would be even warmer in here if those weren't LEDs. They still run cool to the touch and they're very energy efficient. Uh, the incandescent bulbs, as much as you love them, not going away. This year is the first year, even though I bought them two years ago, that I'm using uh, LED bulbs on our tree. Very happy uh, to do that because, yes, they're cool and they're energy efficient. I think I can string like 47 uh, together. I didn't uh, do that. Uh, and uh, it looks like my IT tech notes this. The CFLs have lots of mercury. That's true. This is one of the reasons why I'm moving to LED. I'm not just going to replace everything outright. I'm going to wait till they kind of fade away and then replace them. Uh, I, I have a bathroom. Duh. And I don't have an outhouse. But in this bathroom, I've got several light fixtures. And I went and replaced all of them with LEDs because that's our primary uh, bathroom. And so we are not saving money by using them. Of course, you save money by not using them. We're saving money by not using traditional uh, incandescent bulbs. And honestly, the CFLs were uh, uh, not working very well. They were burning out sooner than they, they should have, but we used the, the bathroom a lot. Not that, you know, there's any problem with our plumbing. I mean, so have you started to make the move to LED bulbs over the other array of options? I know I still have maybe one or two incandescents here in the house, and as they burn out, uh, I'll replace them. I just don't use uh, uh, you know, certain light fixtures as frequently as uh, I might others. Uh, Crazy56479 says, already ahead of you, Chris, with the tree. I guess other people have LED bulbs on their Christmas trees. You have a tech candy shop, says Awesome Ver. Thank you, I, I guess. I don't really know. I just don't like how they glow after you turn them off, says Dude646. Never really... Uh, Never really noticed that as much. That never really annoyed me. Um, Sean Berkeley says, too bleeping expensive. Uh, yes, LED bulbs are expensive, but they uh, will last a lot longer and be more energy efficient. So the question is, are you going to spend money up front with your energy bills? Or are you going to spend the same amount of money over time and not have to replace those bulbs as frequently as you might have way back when? Uh, the thing I love about LED bulbs is that there's no real chance of the filament like breaking. Like that's the problem with you know, the, the traditional incandescence. Like oh, all of a sudden you see the little oh, it's gone. I, I just completely destroyed the bulb. Got to throw it away. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm happy with today's array of LED bulbs. They will get more and more and more and more affordable over the coming years. You don't need to make the switch immediately, but just know you're going to have to make that switch inevitably. Uh, as Cool Secret Spy 99 says, LEDs use so much less power. And in, a, in a, this area here, I, I have a lot of stuff that's plugged in. Uh, and I need to save power wherever I can possibly save power. Kecko185 on the live video feed says, uh, as we're streaming this live on YouTube, LEDs are supposed to save you $200 during their lifetime. That's true. So they may be expensive up front, but they can save you money. Sometimes you have to spend money to save money. I know that sounds a little odd, 
But wouldn't you rather spend $50 to save $200 than $10, you know, spend $10 to have to only turn around and spend $400? You're, you're spending money to spend more money versus spending some money to save some money. So you can't just think about the product itself. You gotta think about how is it gonna save you money. It's like you know having a phone here with an application that can save me money without really spending any more money. I may make up the cost of the device simply by getting the device and then using something that can help me save money with it. Think beyond the product. But uh, you know if you have any incandescents in your home, it, uh, it may be time to take them to the side and um, you know just very gently, I, I don't know how you're going to relay this news to them. Um, just be be careful, because incandescent bulbs have feelings too. Uh, they were once remember the light of your life, uh, and now they will permanently be extinguished, uh, taken out to the back and and uh, shot. Possibly if you, if you do that, I'll, I wouldn't recommend that. Can the class will get all over. Um, just be be gentle. Uh, with with the bulbs, as you have to, you have to explain this to them. Um, otherwise, it could be shocking, you know, for them to just wake up and realize, oh, I'm dead. <laughs>